Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lumi. You can call me Lumi, call me Lumi, call me Mimi. You can call me one from that selection. And today I am coming to you guys with a fashion video. I know it has been the longest time. It's not like I stopped producing fashion content. On my TikTok, I produce way more fashion content just because it's so quick and easy for me to take a quick snapshot of what I'm wearing each day. However, the reason why I'm here today is because I did have a TikTok that kind of gained a bit of traction. I will play it here. Darling, I don't wish you well when you're with me. I want you crying. I know it's wrong, but I just gotta be honest. Hopefully that's been enough time. You guys already know that I have been on the hunt with my friend Victoria. You guys already know BT. If you're new to my channel, BT is one of my best friends and we just go thrifting together. That's literally like our love language is thrifting and good food. I've been looking for basically how to incorporate the boho hippie, black girl hippie aesthetic into my sort of fashion style, if that makes sense. Obviously had no clue how to do this don't get me wrong i am not a champion for the boho aesthetic currently i'm still trying to find my sense of fashion and um, recently i sort of coined it as it being pinterest fashion now i'm not saying it in the sense that everyone 2019 onwards seems to wear the same sort of edgy clothes or the same fashionable clothes or trendy clothes i've been on pinterest since i was in year 10 year 9 even since I was studying in textiles and photography in GCSE when artists were using Pinterest and not influencers so I would say my fashion style has just been influenced by a lot of different things that I've seen over the years but at the same time I don't believe that you have to just restrict yourself to one aesthetic I definitely think you can wear loads of different aesthetics so this video is just a starter pack in a sense and a guide to the black girl hippie aesthetic so I think the first thing I want to do is actually get the definition of hippie. So according to the dictionary, hippie, especially in the 1960s, is a person of unconventional appearance, typically having long hair, the subculture rejection of conventional values and the taking of hallucin <laughs> hallucinogenic drugs. So I am definitely not advocating that you guys need to do drugs to get in on this aesthetic. The main thing with aesthetics is that you can pick and choose whichever elements you want and make it your own. First thing we're going to talk about is tops and I'll have a link to my Pinterest board about the black girl um, hippie aesthetic down below. When it comes to tops you want something that is fitted, cropped, fitted and then like out, fitted and flowy. So it's really giving that sort of feminine energy a lot of the time, um, a lot of frilly silhouettes, a lot of fitted silhouettes, anything that sort of goes in at the waist because you're going to pair that with the maxi skirts and that is what usually gives that sort of shape that um, is so associated with the black girl hippie aesthetic. Moving on, I would say where you can get them from hand-me-downs go fish in your mom's closet i know for sure that she has at least one thing that you can take and adapt this was my mom's i stole it years ago also thrifting is like the best thing to do hand-me-downs don't forget those clothes that are sitting in the back of your wardrobe have a look through them like you really need to have a good eye and have the vision of what you want and i know that that can be so difficult if you're not seeing the outfits out there but as i said pull in those different elements and you will actually create the vibe yourself another thing is flea markets or car boot sales i think the last couple of things i'll say about tops are crochet and knitted tops so i crochet if you're already on my channel you know that i crochet i literally plug my crochet page in every single video vests crop tops shawls anything like knitted and mesh like will also be really really 
the tube tops, bandos. So I think the video that went viral, I was actually wearing a sort of bandeau top with frills, which I actually have worn as a skirt in another video. Yeah, I think that's overall what I would recommend. I think also you could get away with graphic tanks. So more of like the cyber streetwear aesthetic. Next, we're going to be talking about bottoms. Very, very simple. I already mentioned this earlier. Long maxi skirts, whichever color you can find, whichever shape you can find, whichever texture you can find. And again, the places to go to, I would definitely recommend thrift stores. I would also recommend car boot sales. I got my first one at a car boot sale. Um, absolutely love it so 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 much i would also say wear mini skirts you don't have to wear long skirts what i would say though is it has to be one extreme or the other so if mini skirts i typically like to wear my fitted um sergeant you can also wear frilly mini skirts pleated skirts denim skirts tartan skirts linen skirts lace hemmed skirts loads of different listen just wear the skirts okay and then as well if you don't want to wear skirts that's completely fine you can wear wide leg linen trousers flared trousers flared jeans wide leg jeans dare i say cargo jeans but i think that's like slipping further and further away into a different aesthetic oh you can also lay your dresses and lastly i'm going to be talking about accessories and hair and makeup and whatnot in my tiktok i said every single piece of jewelry you find put it on okay just put it on and call it a day layer as many necklaces like literally my friends know me as the layered necklace girl these necklaces never leave and oftentimes when i'm going out i actually layer even more on them i don't know it's just a look that i absolutely love and i I'm not gonna stop. Rings as well. So these are like pendant rings. I have some of these rings. Your rings don't need to match. Put on as many rings, okay? Layer them up. Earrings as well, ear cuffs nose piercing the swirly one i would have worn mine but i left mine downstairs but you obviously don't have to have a nose piercing either they do have the removable ones so my nose isn't pierced if you ever see me wearing a nose piercing it's fake let's see waist beads as well these waist chains waist belts do that um belts are also a really good accessory and um, when it comes to like breaking up the outfit as well bangles yes lots of bangles moving on to makeup i would always say you know bright under eye i think siren eyes and like eyeliner always does pretty well the black lip liner and lip gloss combo never fails in fact this is essential for this look <laughs> when it comes to hair typically when you see like the black girl hippie aesthetic it does tend to be long hair so if long hair is your type then definitely these are my favorite long hair hairstyle that i've done in a while um, I also filmed a tutorial about it. If it's not already up, then it will be up and I'll link it in this thing. <laughs> Long braids, Marley twists, um, passion twists, French curl braids, braids with the curly ends, um, pick and drop, normal braids even. If you want to move away from braids, you've got weave, like wear your wig, you know? Wear your curly wigs, wear your straight wigs. I think also that layered look is also really, really nice. If you don't want to do long hair, that's completely fine as well. You can do short hair. Short hair looks so cute with this as well. Like starter locks look amazing. You also just have short like a butterfly lot short braids as well work well your natural hair works well pixie cuts bobs and without further ado i think i'm just going to wrap up the video here because the sun is setting now so if you have been noticing the lighting change it's because of that i had work so i only had like the sunset hour to film this video but i'm really glad that i managed to film it and i hope that you guys learned a thing or two in the future i might do a boho aesthetic sort of get ready with me i did do a y2k aesthetic makeup video and i think that was a hit so i think i might start doing like these little aesthetic videos without further ado i'm gonna say bye guys i hope you enjoyed my video i hope it is helpful i love 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 talking to you guys so comment any of your ideas if i missed anything out comment that down below as well and you know if you do use my video to build your aesthetic tag me in it all of my socials will be linked in the description box down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you all in my very next video thank you guys again for watching bye